Paralycus. Okay, guys, tonight uh, I'm gonna make a video uh, speaking about a custom knife maker, a French custom knife maker. Uh, here is its name, his name, Eric de Mongiver, Coutellerie d'Art Cordery, uh, his website. Uh, I saw this guy, I met with this guy at the French uh, Blade Show, and uh, I was stunned with his work. Uh, he does really, really nice uh, work. Uh, I was just about to to buy him a knife, but you know it was too late. So um, I just wanted to 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 see him and to meet with him uh, in uh, his uh, his shop. So that's what I did today with my son. And believe me, my friend, this guy has got an OCD like you couldn't believe. Uh, his fastest knife, he makes it in. Uh, eight or nine days that is the fastest that he does this one it does uh, it did it uh, for over three weeks uh, so that is just insane uh, that is really really the, the true meaning of a custom knife maker uh, even the screws uh, all the hardware is custom everything is custom uh, we're gonna do another view uh, of this knife which is just stunning knife uh, you know, mostly uh, I like, you know, hard and big knives, like, you know, like uh, those are the kind of knives that I like. My XM24 is really, really, uh, I wanted to just to, 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 to take this knife to show you that really mostly that this is the kind of, uh, of knife that I can EDC. So, guys. Uh, this is a, a, a guy who likes this, the sniper blade work, uh, I've got an LPC, I've got a DH, uh, I've got a lot of really hard and big knives, but this one, uh, I, I, he's nothing like a gentleman knife, uh, and also uh, art is art, so when you, when you see art and when you meet with a guy who is so passionate, you, you, you gotta love this, but you know, uh, you you don't know this guy. You're not gonna meet meet with him. So just meet with his work, and you understand what I mean. So like I said, everything is absolutely purely custom. Here is the bolsters, which are Damascus with this great pattern with the, the squares here, and the small you know holes like that. I mean, it's a stunning Damascus. You find the same with the same pattern on the bottom uh, bolsters just just beautiful just beautiful same on the other side really really neat and great Damascus handle here that is just you know I, I hate wood I hate you know uh, but this one I just like I, I just love actually and uh, uh, it's probably uh, what drew me, what, what drove me to buy this knife because this is ivory from Mammoth. Ivory from Mammoth. That means centuries are watching you guys here. You have, you know, you, the smell of it. You, you, you smell the beast uh, here, and this just it has, you know, ages. You know, centuries ago, uh, those beasts uh, lived in our planets, and uh, you know, it means something. You know, it's. I love carbon fiber, like I said, I really do. Uh, I love lightning strike carbon fiber. I love American knives. But this is just one one piece and one only piece. And, uh, you know, having, you know, like this kind of material in it uh, makes it for uh, for something really special. So moving on with, the, with this knife. This guy, Eric, uh, performs the lost art of the guillotine. Guillaume, you all know, uh, it's this way of working with liners and uh, and the metals and doing some patterns on it. This is the Guillaume. Uh, in the United States, it's almost done. Not a lot of people do that. Uh, I hear that. Uh, yeah, I know Alan Lishowitz do some uh, some Guillaume also, uh, but it's really kind of lost art and it's so time consuming. Uh, it's a hassle. It's a pain in the ass to do, uh, to do this uh, this this job. So a lot of guys stop to do uh, to do this, and uh, this is also a mark of true, 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 true um, artistry. You know, 
Uh, this is titanium for sure. Here are the liners, and he, it's anodized titanium, and uh, with, with the best effect. I love blue anodized, and this is just perfect. Uh, here, the back spacer uh, is done with the, the, the with the Damascus. Also, you have three kinds of Damascus here. Uh, this one is just also perfect. Nice pattern here. Really nice pattern. So you have one Damascus here, one Damascus here, and the third Damascus for sure is the blade. And this one, my friend, I love it because usually I'm not I'm not really fond for Damascus, but you know, uh, if you come close to it, you see the pattern, which is just a great pattern, just awesome. But like I said, I don't like to have you know Damascus with a lot of white, gray, black, whatever. <laughs> this one, even the edge, it, uh, it has been kept black. So, uh, since I love black blades, when you look, you know, at the knife from distance, look at that. You can almost, you, you can almost t t think it's a it's a black blade. Here, it's there's a lot of light, but you know, really from distance, it looks like a black blade. Uh, so I kind of like it because from distance, you say, okay, it's a re probably a regular knife with a with a black blade, and when you come close you just appreciate the the really nice pattern really 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 awesome pattern here of the damascus the shape of the blade you know the blade is called the spartacus uh, and i believe that you know in ancient time if you had to use a knife like that like that it wouldn't be considered as a as a gentleman knife today with all those big knives that we have uh, it might be considered a, 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 as a, a gentleman knife, but this has nothing to do with a gentleman knife. It's really overbuilt. Uh, <coughs> everything is really tight in place. The liner is just a uh, really great liner and more than enough uh, to hold uh, to hold you know some some really uh, hard task with this knife. Uh, the shape of the blade with the swedge here, you know, really nice swedge. Uh, makes for I think a really nice uh, thruster. Uh, yeah, overall a nice drop point blade. Uh, you know I think that you can use this knife for EDC and for um, self defense. Most definitely not for uh, tactical uh, purposes, but you know really it's a user, uh, and and I won't be afraid to use it because this guy lives like like an hour from my house. So he told me, you know, use this knife, beat the shit out of it if you want, and I can redo it uh, <coughs> for you whenever you, you, you like. So, uh, you know, it's very pleasing uh, to know that I can use this knife and uh, whatever the issue with the knife, <coughs> I know he, he, will, uh, he will fix it. Uh, and this is, uh, he does some knives uh, and, you know, it does them... Uh, no, what I mean to say is this knife is one of a kind. It, it, it did only one Spartacus, and that is the only one uh, ever to be done. Uh, it does an, uh, other models, uh, and uh, it does it does them quite often. Like he, he's got a model named the, the Exocet uh, after the fish, not the the, mis the missiles. But the Exocet, for example, he did like five or six Exocet, and he's gonna do others. So it's. Um, returning um, a model this one is one of a kind so this is all also a feature that i really like so i, I know that i'm the only one <laughs> and ever uh, to to own the, this knife so again uh, let's uh, finish with the overview <laughs> with the best part uh, eric thinks that you know the owner uh, has to be proud of his knife and he has to get some features that only one uh, only him uh, should be able to appreciate. So here you have uh, the bioch here. This is the part of the knife you are you really as an, as an owner the only one to 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 appreciate. So you have the bioch here, but that that's not it. That's not it. Uh, <coughs> uh, uh, on the back here, that is the back spacer, which is a piece of Damascus. I'm not sure that you all know how Damascus uh, works, but uh, there is a process called the revelation, uh, and the revelation uh, comes after you have you get a mirror polish uh, finish uh, of the of the of the metal, of the, uh, and you get a, a mirror polish, and after that you put your um, your your steel uh, in, in 
I mean, you, you do a process called the revelation, and after that, you, 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 you have the pattern. Uh, this, for example, was just a mirror polish before revelation. You put it in, in this process, and you do the revelation, and after that, uh, it reveals the, the pattern of the Damascus. So here, it, it, kept, the, it kept it uh, with the mirror polish on this side, and did some guilloche work on it. So I'm sure that you see it, you know, in the back, really in the back. Uh, that is just crazy. It's just crazy. I mean, it's so time consuming. You, you, you couldn't believe. And it, it's something that you have to, to really look um, closely to, to see. But it took some time, and like I said, it, to, it took him over three weeks without any machine uh, to, to, to do that. And that is just, just absolutely great, absolutely great. So I wanted you guys to have another look of this uh, knife. And, uh, you know, it's you, you're familiar with this. It's a liner lock, really, uh, like every liner lock. It has a thumb stud here, and inside the thumb stud, which is also, you know, custom one with anodization, and inside, for sure, you have... A reminiscent of the mammoth uh, ivory here that he put it inside that is the white thing that you see here uh, the opening is just just buttery smooth hear that it's a ball bearing system ball bearing system which is also absolutely totally custom uh, made uh, he puts all the little uh, balls there uh, and he does his own uh, ball bearing uh, system and that works just Perfectly fine, smooth. Uh, you know, you know, just a little, you know, just a little drop like that with the finger, and sorry, it flies open, flies open. I really love this knife, really too. Uh, like I said, you won't be able to get any one of these because that that is the one and only, and uh, I think I think it deserved uh, a video. Uh, like I said, I'm. Mostly I wanted to talk about knives that are not that well advertised and uh, most definitely this one won't be advertised uh, if not for me because uh, like I said it's a unique piece but this guy you can check him and uh, check for his knives uh, you will appreciate the work of a truly artist uh, knife maker and there are less and less of these because now most of them uh, use machines and everything so you know finding true artists that are able to spend days weeks to work on the knife uh, that you won't find that often uh, from now on so guys i'm out of here uh, 13 minutes is more than over uh, i see you for the next video Bye bye